Coach, thank you much. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Rams. This is taken at his four. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the... Twenty nine yard line. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and ten. They go play action here on first down. He's going to air it out deep for Woods. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Brown. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. Woods the intended receiver. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Now Wentz. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Aaron Donald. In there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. Eight yards on the run there, and that trims it to a third and 11 coming up. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. Now Wentz on third down. Escaping the pressure right. 
Now he's going to send this one deep right side. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. And that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have back on their heels. It's a 47-yard punt but they did give up 10 on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. And a finish cop. He's got it. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. The goal for any offense versus his own defense Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. He winds up getting only a couple there. Down to the 29. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. To throw on second down is gone. And this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down. And they may be going backward here. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. They're back now to the original line of scrimmage thanks to that eight-yard gain. Third down now to Paulo. Hey, lift, 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 lift. What's that? By 20. 14. 14. Throwing on third. Gone. They'll throw underneath for Gurley. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. It's a gain of seven, and that'll bring up fourth down. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So on fourth down, here comes Greg Zerline to try and get three for the Rams. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. And Zerline's kick is good. And the Rams have the first points here. It's 3-0. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Yeah, things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. And now here come the Cowboys. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. It's caught inside the 25. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Line of scrimmage moves from their own 25 all the way to the red zone now for first and 10. A first down carry by Elliott. And he spins through. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. 
pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. On second down, here's Wentz. And this is incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Wentz going to try and throw on third. Eluding the pressure right. And oh, it'll be intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Now a play fake here on first down. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good defensive position, able to affect the play. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing? often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Hey, Shell. Shell. Here's Goff now on second down. Flush to his right. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. From the gun on third down, gone. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's McKenzie. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On first down, it's Gurley. Open space inside the ten, and he gets it all the way down to the three. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Here's Gurley. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. 
On second down, here's Goff. Forced out to his left. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Well, it's like that in just about every position. And sometimes if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. Now Goff on third and goal. And it's complete. He's got him in the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Robert Woods from three yards out. And the Rams add on to their lead. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Now the return. Here comes Randall Cobb. Uses the spin. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And now running right through it. And he's going to take this all the way down inside the 40. I know the special teams coach will not permit himself a smile here, but inside he's glowing. This is what he practices for. This is what he schemes. This is what he watches tape to put himself and his team in a position to score points. An absolute dream return. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And that one results in 35 yards. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And that loss of yards there is not just on him. It's on the guys blocking for it. I mean, they're supposed to create some type of space or at least get a stalemate. They ended up letting them through and they ended up tackling them for a loss. Oh, the spin. It'll be a two-yard game, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Third and goal, this L.A. Rams defense will try to bow up once more. Here's Elliott. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. And now the Rams are going to halt things as they want a timeout. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. This is less than an extra point, just a 19-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Out of the gun, gone. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. 
The Rams on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and five. They'll run with Henderson. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty, as they come up on first and ten. A final shot before half for Wentz. Escaping the pressure right. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. This is taken at his four. Oh, and now he bowls him over. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start... the 32 yard line out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter they're down here but very much in this game what, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission typically what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that sure you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down but overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off about the 31. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Cooper was the intended target. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Gone. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. It's a gain of five on the play, and they're going to have a third down. I know Super most of the one. time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running good, backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. On third down, it's Henderson. And now running right through it. And he'll be brought down, but a tip of the cap on the spin move as that gives him a first down. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Super 66. Right back to him on first down. Finding room to the 20. Touchdown, Allen! A great play there. 33 yards. And the Rams add on to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Here comes Cobb. 
turns him over. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Over the middle complete, it's Gordon. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. On second down, Elliott. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Dante Fowler in on the stop. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Here's Wentz to throw. Cooper's got it. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. He's now just three yards shy of 197 yards receiving on the contest and a first down. The give is to Elliott. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. Now Wentz throwing on second down. He's going to air one out. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. Martin, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with, some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting to 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. From the gun on third down, wins. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the pro bowler, Marcus Peters. And he'll take it all the way up near the 30-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. DC, Marlin, Marlin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. After the interception, here's Golf. And that'll be incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets go, it go, or go. no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make it third and 13. A shotgun snap for gone. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now the Cowboys' offense heads back onto the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling play. That his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off near the 44 and to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43 yard.
yard line, that's where they'll take over. sideline so they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect and that's when he's got to be happy to have back there wasn't a hole open in the zone you'd have to think on early downs like that first down there need to be a little bit more careful yeah fortunately for him he's got a couple more downs to play with and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. The Rams on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and 11. Now gone. He'll buy some time right. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, and get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Blitz, he dumps him for a loss of eight. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. From the gun, here's Goff. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Gerald Everett, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Rams add on to their lead. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want. But there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know protecting the home field, winning your home games is paramount in this league. So you go into it, yeah, we want it. But now you actually have to go out and prove it. Yeah, two sides to that coin and looking like they're going to protect it here in this one. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sand. Jamie Collins coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once. But you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Wentz. Eluding the pressure right. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. The Cowboys on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third down and 12. Working from the gun, Wentz. Wide open receiver complete. Yeah, he'll get this one way up, just shy of the 45-yard line. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Throwing now is Wentz. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that was no close quickly. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And a nice gain of 21 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Now Wentz. 
He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. Come on now. Come on now. No, no pick, go. just incomplete that time. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Back to the air on second down. Wins. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game. And to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on. And they just play better and better. Now wins. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Samson Abukum able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play. And it'll be fourth down. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Lion, Lion. Now Wentz. Got to have this one. Flush to his right. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Samson Abukum in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon. On the carry is Henderson. And an alley to run. So a good spin move there before he's taken down. A nice little game. Give him 10 yards on the pickup. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Again, it's Henderson. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Here's Henderson, and he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. back to the 29. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Throwing on third. Gone. Going for it all. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Brandon Cooks. His first touchdown as a member of the Rams. And the Rams add on to their lead. Now Zerline on and the extra point. Zerline good with a PAT. And that'll increase their lead to 28. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And out now come the Cowboys. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that, and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team, and we were losing late in the game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. They go to Elliott again. 
And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. The Cowboys on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This will be third and six. Wentz now to throw. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. Now Henderson. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. And they just took a timeout. With two seconds to go, this one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with them. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they